Hi everyone, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be for elementary school students and it's going to be uh, what to keep in your pencil case. So I'm going to jump right into it. The first thing that I'm going to mention is that for elementary school, you're going to want to keep two pencil cases. I'm going to go into details about what's in each of them and why you should have two. It's going to help to keep you organized and it's going to make sure that you're not carrying too much stuff around every day um, because sometimes you're not going to be using everything that's in either of these pencil cases so you're probably going to want just one or the other. So I'm going to leave that one for now. I'm going to jump right into this one. This one I'm going to call our essential pencil case. It's the one that you need to have every single day. It's going to have all of your writing utensils and everything that you need on a daily basis. So if I open it up, we'll get started. Okay, and first things first, it's your pencil case. What you're going to want? Pencils. You can use any kind that you like, if it's the wooden kind or if it's the lead pencil kind. Uh, my preference was always the lead pencil kind. I find that they didn't break quite as often, and when they did break, you can just pump out a new piece of lead nice and simple. Um, but if you prefer the wooden kind, pencils are pencils. They work the same. Whatever you prefer, you're welcome to, uh, to just use whatever you like, whatever you're more comfortable writing with. Or just whatever you have at home. No need to go out and buy new pencils every single year. Just whatever you have, keep using it. Um, another thing that you're going to want is pen. So I know a lot of the time in elementary school you're not using pen too much because your teachers want to see you writing in a pencil and it's a lot easier to correct your work. But sometimes you may need to sign something or a teacher is going to ask you to use pen. So you're going to want to have at least one on you. Make sure that it's only black or only blue. Uh, you don't want to be using baby blue ink. You don't want green ink, anything like that. It's really hard to read for teachers just because you're staring at it for so long. It really strains the eyes. And uh, also, it's just too light. The colors are too light on the paper. So make sure that it's black or blue. Um, another thing that you're going to want is a red pen for when you're proofreading other people's work. Or I know sometimes teachers will do um, marking where they'll pass it around and, you know, mark the person beside you, something like that. So make sure that you have red for something like that, as well as also underlining, uh, underlining dates, circling certain things, stuff like that. You're always going to find a need for a red pen. So make sure that you have at least one of those in your pencil case. Um, for the pencils, if you're using the wooden kind, you want to make sure that you have a sharpener. Do make sure that you have your own. A teacher's biggest pet peeve is people getting up to borrow a sharpener. So just students never seem to have their own on them. So make sure that you have one. Okay, you don't want to be getting up and disrupting the class, going and disrupting someone else saying, hey, can I borrow your sharpener? Can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? Make sure that you have everything that you need on you all the time. So wooden pencils need the sharpener. The lead pencils need extra lead. I know the worst thing is when you're writing a test and you find out that you're out of lead. And that's one of the things that I know some kids don't have on them all the time. So you don't want to be stuck uh, not even being able to borrow from somebody because nobody has it. So make sure that you have your own. Uh, and of course, when you're using pencil, you need an eraser. Okay, this is another thing that students never seem to have their own of. And they're always going and they're borrowing from another student and this and that. It's, you know. They'll be talking during the test and it's like, oh, I was just looking for an eraser and then the teacher's getting mad at you. Avoid that. Just make sure that you have your own to begin with. What else do we have in here? Um, you're going to need some highlighters from time to time. I know you may not use them all the time, so only have like one or two in your essential pencil case. Uh, you're going to want them. You might have to you know, highlight a particular sheet or it'll make it easier when you're doing tests. Um, to highlight some key words. Whenever you're doing a test, that's one of the things that I try to teach my students, and it's one of those things that I did too. Uh, highlight key words that way you know exactly what the question is asking you, and it's going to make it easier to, uh, to answer the questions on the test, especially towards the end. I know that towards the end of the test, you're kind of getting tired, and when you're reading over the question again and again and again, you kind of start to you know, zone out, and you're not really absorbing the information the way you did the first time. So if you highlight during a test, it's going to make it much easier later on when you're getting a little bit tired and you're going to still be able to answer that question as if you had just started the test. So that's a pretty good tip for you there. Uh, of course, with the pen, make sure that you have a little whiteout. You will probably won't need a huge whiteout just because you're not using the pen too often. But of course, if you are using pen all the time, let's say you're like in grade 7, 8, uh, make sure that you have the bigger whiteout. This you'll probably run out of throughout the year. But if you're in the younger grades and you have a pen uh, and you just want a whiteout, that way you can... Um, correct anything if you are using the pen make sure that you have a little one there I always prefer this kind over the wet kind because it dries so quickly it, it, it doesn't even need to dry it just starts dry so this would be my recommendation and it also doesn't make a mess it doesn't get on your hand so this is my recommendation but of course the uh, the liquid whiteout works exactly the same uh, what else do I have in here 
I have a lip balm. I know my lips always got really dry being in Canada. We'd come in after recess and just, you know, our faces were chapped, our hands were dry, and we'd always have dry lips. So that was one of those things that always bothered me. I just couldn't focus once my lips started peeling. So I always had a lip balm in my pencil case. You don't, uh, sorry. <clears throat> if you don't have that problem, of course, you can skip, the, uh, skip that one. This here, uh, hand sanitizer. Kids are sticky and dirty and you guys are sharing a lot of germs. So make sure that you have a little something to use at least before lunch. You don't need a huge bottle. I know we used to have the huge pump bottles of Purell. But uh, that was a little overboard. These little guys like this are good enough. So make sure that you have something just to clean your hands before lunch. I also have these. Okay, let me put that down. I have these little uh, tabs. They're basically like little sticky notes. What I always use these for were bookmarks. And so I'd use them as bookmarks. I'd have them um, marked in my math textbook or in my agenda book or in my novel study, whatever we were reading. I prefer these over bookmarks because they don't slip out. Because they're sticky, they'll stick to the pages. So that's what I would recommend having instead of bookmarks. I have these little sticky tabs here. These I always needed and never had on me at school. And I always told myself I was going to bring them. And I always forgot were these little reinforcements. Anytime I would rip a page out of a divider or a duotang, I used to always just let it go. And then I'd lose it. And I always wish that I had these. So you guys can take these at school. If you keep them at home, make sure that you actually remember to fix your uh, to fix your papers. Because I used to say that, oh, I'd do it at home, and then I'd never, I'd never go home and do it, and then I'd lose sheets, and I wouldn't be able to study for tests. Uh, the other thing that I have in here is a couple of paper clips. I have one of these little alligator jaw clips. I'm not totally sure what you call them. But these are important in case um, you need to hand in an assignment, and you need to attach a rubric or something like that, especially art assignments. Your teachers aren't going to want you using the classroom stapler. Um, because it's going to ruin the assignment. You don't want to staple things to it. So you're going to want some paper clips just to hold any materials together. You may not use them all the time, but they take up no space in your pencil case. Can't hurt to have. Another two things that you need in your pencil case, they didn't fit in mine, but um, make sure that you keep them either in your desk or in your pencil case. You need a ruler. Um, in elementary school, you can either have the stubby ones, like this one here, the short ones, or the longer ruler. I know they have the ones that fold up. I don't have one of those. Those ones would probably be your best bet in case you need the longer ruler, and then it's short. That way it doesn't take up too much space. So I would recommend having one of the ones that fold up, but I, I don't have one. I haven't had to use a, a long ruler in quite some time, so I just have the little guy here. Either way, make that, sure that you have some kind of a ruler on you, whether it's for math or for art or whatever it's for. And um, the last thing, you need a calculator. So you're going to need a calculator for math, or even sometimes you're going to use it for like social studies and things like that. So make sure that you do have a calculator on you at all times. It's one of those things you don't want to be borrowing, and you don't want to realize that you don't have it the day before a test. So make sure that you have that all the time. And that's it. That's everything that we have in the essential pencil case. So make sure that you keep that in your desk or uh, just on your person all the time, whether it's on your desk. I, I know some... Uh, some classes will do rotary and they'll have the students go through each and every class. So if you have courses like that, make sure that you keep it attached to a binder or something like that because you don't want to be left without those materials. Um, okay, so that was that. Now I'm going to go into this pencil case here. This one, I, I would call it your art case. I know you have to carry quite a few art supplies when you're in elementary school and a lot of the time you're not using them every single day and they're just taking up space. If you have your pencil crayons on you all the time, and you have your glue, and you're only using it like once every two weeks, which is so much to carry around, and you're probably going to lose it before you even get the opportunity to uh, to use it. So I'm going to go through what's in this one here. This one is a nice sturdy uh, sturdy tin. I got it at Walmart, just one of these metal ones here, which is a good one because it's um, easy to easy to store at school. So whether you keep it on your uh, say on your coat rack or if you keep it just in the classroom somewhere else, it's easy to stack and things like that. It's not really going to be disruptive. It's not going to be falling down or anything like that. Okay, so what we have in here, crayons. I also have pencil crayons. I'm not, I don't think you'd need both. If anything, you probably want pencil crayons over the crayons. If you have both, that's no problem. But I'd say definitely have some pencil crayons on you, if not the crayons. Uh, and you also want markers. Markers are good. I find that students use these even more than the pencil crayons because they'll use them to outline and they'll use them for uh, 
for assignments and chart papers and things like that. So we'll always make sure that you have a pack of markers. These ones are, what are these ones called? Uh, mini markers. I know Crayola has the ones called Pipsqueaks and just the small markers are usually more than enough. Uh, so I recommend just the tiny pack. You probably don't need the big, uh, the big huge markers. You also want scissors. I know there's uh, usually a class set of scissors in every classroom, but make sure that you have your own. These ones were a dollar at the dollar store, I think. I think they might have come in a pack of three also. So it's a pretty good deal. It's not going to cost you too much to get your own scissors, so I definitely recommend having your own. Uh, you definitely want your own glue because I, the classroom sets of glue, they always end up, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, dry. They always end up drying out or they, the liquid ones will kind of turn to rubber because people will leave the caps open and things like that. And then you're going to need glue and you're going to be stuck because there's not going to be any in the classroom. So make sure that you have your own stick of glue. Again, all the school supplies are really cheap. You can get anything at the dollar store. Make sure that you have your own just for your own sake. And then I have some other stuff in here that's just kind of extra. I know that students will often have some of this stuff in their essential pencil case and there's no need for it. But to keep it in an art pencil case, it's no big deal. Uh, so things like little paper, paper flowers and stuff that they use maybe for, uh, you know, one of those introductory, you know, get to know me kind of assignments and things like that. Uh, any kind of art assignment. Uh, I even have, I have some glitter glue. So stuff like that. This stuff you're going to be using like less than once a month. So you can keep it in your art pencil case or you can keep it, uh, keep it at home and then just bring it when you need it. But it doesn't hurt to keep it in your art pencil case because you're not going to have it on you all the time. Carrying it around is just kind of a waste, right? You're just carrying it around and you're not going to be using a lot of it. So that's why it's important to have two pencil cases. It's just to save you time. It's to keep you organized so that you don't have to carry everything on you all the time. So you have your art pencil case and you have your essentials pencil case. This one goes in your desk. This one goes in either your backpack, your, your locker, your some, you know, if you have a little designated area in the classroom where you can keep binders and stuff like that, that's where this one goes. This one you don't have to keep on you all the time. So that looks like that's it. So that's what I have. Uh, those are the tips that I have for you for what to keep in your pencil case for elementary school. So I hope this video helped you out. Take care.